Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Way of the Hunter. Trying to uh, use this camera <laughs> that we've got going in here. It's a little tricky at first. Not quite used to it. It's a lot easier to do in the, uh, the Hunter Classic. But you can get a good look at your, your avatar, which is really nice. And you can look around at other things without being with the avatar. If you notice, they're still doing this Halloween thing. It is December, well, it's almost December 2nd. But yeah, they still got everything set for that. So I can kind of move around my little avatar and take pictures if I need to. Kind of some cool stuff, but you got to hold the right button to be able to move it around. It took me a while to figure that out and see in space move it up and down as far as taking a picture I guess you press 12 yeah that's it well anyway once you get out of it which is just a matter of hitting C again you're back and what we're going to do guys I think since it's afternoon in this game we had a mission called the general I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right so I don't think the T's uh, pronounced. I think it's just so. So's pheasant. We have to harvest 6.61 pounds of pheasant meat. Now I do have a a rifle that's a 22. That it's a little more powerful than what we need, but it's pretty much all we can get at this time. So let me see if which one it is here. I don't know if that's it. Let's see. Let me go to my inventory here. Wait a minute, where is my inventory? That's the trouble between switching games here. It's like... Alright guys, I am actually back inside the building because I can bring up my inventory here. We can see exactly what I'm carrying and what uh, weapons I have. I've got the Remington 783, which is what they give you. In the beginning, that's the grandpa's old rifle. Delacovas said this thing is really... Sh I mean, it really should be good for deer, but... <laughs> It's apparently not. It's only good for things like uh, the Badgers and other smaller game. You want the uh, a different rifle for that purpose. The Stinger 22. That is my secondary weapon. That is the one we're going to be using for those guys. I'm probably going to go in here and switch Grandpa's old rifle out for the other rifle in case we run into any deer, because that is not going to work if we're hunting deer. So let me see here. We got to get into the storage how do we change this again let's see Remington alright I think I got it in here right it's really kinda hard to follow this sometimes I wish it was a little more intuitive but it's not <laughs> unfortunately but I think I've got everything in here the way it needs to be I've got the Remington 783 that's for the deer uh, grandpa's old rifle is put in storage for now then we've got the stinger 22 that's gonna be for the pheasant we only have 393 uh, coins, so we don't have enough to get any collars or anything like that. We're just going to have to hopefully get close enough to be able to shoot the guys. So we do have a pair of 8 times binoculars. Uh, goes the magnification of 8 times. That's not too bad, but there are better ones that we can eventually buy. So they do give you that from the very beginning. Anyway... And if you want to change time, you can sleep. That's well, not what we're going to be doing, though, this time. We are going to go out because the pheasant like to come out to the fields in the daytime. And it just so happens that I have seen quite a few of them over here by the hunting range. So I'm going to run down here because if I take the car, I'm going to end up spooking them. Might even end up spooking them if I run too much. But hopefully we'll be able to get down here and not scare anything away. Yeah, if you use too high power of a rifle or anything like that, what you can still kill it. And you don't get like, you know, your hand slapped for using an inappropriate weapon. But the meat quality is so poor because it's basically been blown to bits that you don't get the cash returned so yeah it, they do punish you in one way basically okay we are now here at the range so we probably need to crouch and we're gonna need to walk across here and see if we can't listen maybe we'll hear some pheasant I don't know 
Now, I'm sure some of you are probably thinking, why does Hawkeye sound the way he does? I sound a little bit deeper in my voice than normal. Well, that's because I have the flu. <laughs> I have been sick for the past two days, and so is my wife. Well, my wife has actually been sick for the past four days, and she is still not over it. This has been one of the worst I have dealt with in a while. Yeah, we went to Thanksgiving, and it apparently was a spreader event. Okay, we think we might have some pheasant in here, guys. But some of our family members ended up having the flu, and two of them, shortly thereafter, ended up testing positive for COVID. <laughs> uh, i tell you, this stuff's never going away, is it? All right. Let me put on my hunter sense because maybe maybe there's something out there. I don't know. I'll tell you what, guys. I will bring you back if any. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, what is that? Pheasant. There we go. He's not too far away. Let's see if we can't get a little bit closer. Uh, if he's in the trees, though, we may be pretty much out of luck. But I was expecting to have to hunt a little bit more to find them, but I got lucky. What do you What do you know? But yeah, getting okay, 60 to 80 yards. We need to start really being careful here. Now I think there's a field on the other side of these trees. And if that is the case, we may be able to get up to him and not... Ooh, there's another one. Two of them. And they're calm, so they don't hear me. Okay, let's take a look here. see them guys there's too much cover let me pull up my binoculars here he's I think he's on nope he's over there okay damn yeah he's close we're just going to need to be really quiet. Ah, shoot. Well, that, there went the hell that. <laughs> that went to the hell in the handbasket, didn't it? They heard me. Damn it. Well, hell. Well, there's still one that says he's pretty close. Let me let me go down to a crouch. I mean, not a crouch, but a crawl. We may have to do this the old-fashioned way, like soldiers or something. <laughs> yeah, I wish they were out in the open field. That's going to make it a lot harder. Oh, boy, he's... Let's see... Oh, he's a ways off. Okay, this one's a little bit closer. If we can get out in the open, we might be able to get a good shot. Sixty to eighty yards. This is not gonna be easy. Ugh, with all these trees, I got too much cover. Yeah, you can't get too close to them. About twenty yards and that's where they spooked. Okay. Let me 
bring up my binoculars. Aha, I see him. Got him. Perfect. Well, I'm still going to take a crouch because that's going to spook him, but I'm still hearing quite a few in the general area. So, yeah, there's nothing spectacular about going after these guys. They're not like hunting the deer. Definitely not like hunting bear. You're putting your butt on the line there. Okay, there's plenty of them out here. I think we might be all right to get them. Here he is. All right, let's claim him. Let's see, what do we get on him? Penetration damage, 27. Cavity damage, okay. Heart went right through him. Uh, that's the bullet camera. Let's check the overview. Hunter rating. He's a two-star. Total sell price. I mean, do I just sell him, or what do I do? Let's see. I'm not sure, honestly. Total sell price, trophy, no. Yeah, they don't really tell you what you're supposed to do with it in these missions, exactly. I think the last time I just sold them, and it kind of... I don't know if I save it. I don't taxiderm. It has to be a cell. I don't see how you have any other option. Okay, it did go down. It went down about two pounds. Not too bad. Okay, good. So i got to get at least two more. Maybe three more. Depends on the size. That was a decent sized one, so I may need to get three more. Okay, got one over here. How far off is he? And he's a little ways. What we got here? Oh, badger. We well, don't need no stinking badgers. <laughs> oh, nobody gets that any unless you're my age. All right, come on, make a noise. I need to know where you are. There's one closer than that. I. Zeroing. Okay, I've got the zeroing. Whoops. I just don't see him. He's he's there, but I just don't see him. The tall grass. The whistling isn't going to do any good because I don't have a shotgun. I need a shotgun. I could get these guys a lot easier that way, but. Where are you, you little bugger? Now, when I was walking around looking for deer, these guys were hopping around all over the place. When I need one, they make themselves scarce. Okay, he is right there. I see him now. Got him. Awesome. All right. I'm going to let him settle down a little bit. There's still some over here. I mean, I don't want to spook them. Oh, that's cool. You can see exactly where they are. See that little glowing area? That means that's where I got an animal that's down. I don't know if I was there before, if that's something new. Uh, it's been a while since I played the game, honestly, guys. With all the Halloween events and other things going on, I just haven't played since Dulakba and I came in here and did our deer hunt together. Alright. I 
just want to be easy. I don't want to spook. Uh, there's another one fairly close. I just wait a minute. Where's wait a minute? Where's he? Ooh, he is. He's only a short distance over this way. I'm surprised I can't see him. Where are you, you little bugger? Make a noise. Oh, I don't see you. Where are you, you little turd? Is that him there? I think it is. Ah. Well, I didn't have good eyes on him. Well, let's go pick this one up because I think I made so much noise that time. I'm sure that the others have gone to the wayside. Let's see what we got here, guys. All right. He is another male. Only a one star. 14 coins. So he's just a just a coin short of the other one we'll go ahead and sell him to ah we got it <laughs> the mission is complete very nice so we gotta pick up mail from the mailbox I guess that'll be our cash or whatever we get for shooting the pheasants but since we're out here we might as well see if we can't get a few more be nice to get a something to represent as a trophy at least until we can get something better I'd like to get a three star at least I'm gonna kinda stop at three stars for trophies so they're gonna have to at least be that before I put them in my trophy lodge where are you you little bugger come on make a noise This thing's kind of loud for a 22. <laughs> I mean, it really is. It's pretty loud. Uh, okay, this suddenly got very quiet. Well, check it out here, guys. I tell you what, we've got a uh, deer tower over here, and that actually could be advantageous because that could allow us to see them from above. That's kind of the problem I have. The grass is so tall. I mean, granted, they don't get much coin, but I'm already here. I've already got the, the, the stuff to do it. It's probably too late in the afternoon to see any deer. Well, he's not too far away. Let's see. Yeah, it's like I said, there's just so much grass. Okay, let's go over here and see if we can't... Let's put that away see if we can't see them from up here yeah I think I had a few people ask me which I thought was better the hunter classic or call of the wild or this and I really well I still kind of you know I really like the Hunter Classic, and I do like the Hunter Call of the Wild. This one, there's a lot of aspects about it I do like, and it just, but they're so hard to compare, to be honest. This one feels a little more immersive to me in many ways, but it just doesn't seem to have some of the levels of detail that the Hunter has. I don't know. I think having all three is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> just switch around and play one when you get tired of the other one play the other I don't see anything wrong with doing that all right let's see if we got let me see how far is he out there oh there's a badger I don't have anything to shoot him with though <laughs> hello dude how's it going 
you take a look at him. Boy, they are just so confident. Look at that. Mess with me. Mess with me. I'm a bad ass. <laughs> he is on a mission. Wherever he's going, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Pound for pound, even a even a a bear won't mess with like well, I don't know if it's a badger. I think actually it's a wolverine, but wolverine is a large badger. What in the world is that? Was that the badger? I just heard something walk up. I don't know what it is. I think there's something under this. <laughs> I think there's something under this tree stand. I don't know what it is. If it's a badger or if it's something else. It sounds close. Like it's going through the leaves. I don't see anything. Well, I don't see how a deer could have snuck up on me without me seeing it, but. Stranger things have happened. Oh, it's a badger. It's a badger. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Well, hell, no wonder. Look at it. There's all kinds of those little burrows. Yeah, this would. This is way too powerful to shoot him with. Well, I thought I'd get a good look up here and see what I could see around, but it's starting to think it kind of late in the day, so I'm not hearing as much from the pheasant anymore. Yeah, that is him. He's digging or something. Well, let's go ahead and get down. I think we should go ahead and head back to the mailbox. Of course, now I hear a pheasant. When I was up there, I didn't hear a damn a single one of them. Hold on, let me go back up here again. Cause he's right over there. He's only 40 to 60 yards. Did I scare him? Where is he? He was like right over there. Now he's gone again. Whew, that's a distant shot there, guys. <laughs> that was not the one. The one I heard was more... more he was around here somewhere. So he might have spooked. I don't know. For some reason going up the ladder makes a lot of noise, I guess. Which kind of sucks. Yeah, my skills in this game at this point for a shot that long is just not going to be good enough, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Yeah, he's at 80 to 100 yards. That one's way off. 100 to 120. And he's still strutting his stuff over here, but... He isn't coming towards me, so if he would come a little closer, if I had a collar or something, let me see here. Let me, I wonder if I could zero in a little bit more. Maybe. He needs to pop up a lot more than that, though. No, I just can't get a good, clear view of him. you guys where'd he go he was just there oh there he is got him ha 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 nice what was that about 
And that was about a good, good 80 yard shot. Not bad. I got him, and that was a little target, too. Alright. We've probably played around long enough here, guys. I'll go over there and pick him up. And then we'll go back to the mailbox. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, the hunter vision helps a lot. Especially when you shoot a small animal like that. Man, that would be a real pain in the butt to find him. There he is. Let's see, what's he? Bullet camera. Is another male. He's been shooting a lot of males. He's almost four pounds. That's a good size one. Still, he's just a one star. He's a little less than the other ones were. Damn. Oh well. It's not really tro trophy worthy, but I don't know if we can do. Wait a minute. I don't know if we can do a fast travel back or not. Yeah, we can. All right. All right. We are going to go down to the mailbox and see what our next mission may be, if anything. Dear River, I've already told you a million times, but I'll say it a trillion. Thank you so much for helping me with Bear Den Ranch. Restaurants always place their orders with me by email. I think you wrote down my email password when you visited me in hospital. I don't trust the postal service enough to write it down here. Ah. I couldn't be happier to hear that you started hunting again, despite your father's disapproval. You're an adult now. You can make your own decisions. When he found out you were hunting with me as a kid without permission, and forbid you to ever visit me again, it broke my heart forever. So in a medical sense, this will help to heal the physical scars that share my heart tissue with the metaphorical ones. Do you remember Hollywood? The little fawn you named when we saw him no older than a few weeks? My... okay. Well, that muley is an old gentleman now, and unfortunately he has abnormal antlers just like his father. Huh. It's a genetic trait that would spread further. I have one request. Taxidermy him for this nostalgic old man and put him right next to his father in the lodge. He is the only trophy I left there. The rest, I had my friend Bustin' Dustin move to a bigger place. Do you believe there's such a thing as too many trophies? <laughs> I'll pay for this taxidermy, but for any others, you will have to save your own money. Okay. P.S. I wanted to shoot him many times, but every time my finger froze on the trigger because I think of him as yours. P.S. 2. I have so little to do at the hospital, I decided to draw a little present for you. It's a comic story about the summers you spent in Nes Perce Valley as a kid. I decided to draw some situations we never talked about, and perhaps it'll be easier this way. Maybe you completely forgot about some. Maybe some still linger in you the same way they do in me. Expect more. Your loving grandpa. Hollywood. Boy, that is some strange looking antlers. Huh. That's cute. Alright, so we've got to get... It was oh. summer 2002. And ten-year-old River was about to spend his first holiday with his grandparents. River could feel the adventure and mischief in his young bones. Why has River never visited his grandparents before? Wow! Dad! Dad! What? Ask his father. There was a deer! Which one is the white butt? Male deer or white-tailed deer? It has to be white-tailed, right? I don't know. Grandpa will know. Because my father-in-law knows everything. Oh boy, one of those situations. A few hours later. 
River was finally in Nez Perce Valley, and his joy was matched only by that of his grandparents. But not everyone shared their elation. Grandpa! <laughs> I saw a deer! It was probably a white tail because he had a white butt. Mule deer also have white butts. How can you tell the difference? Wallace. Richard. I want to speak to you in private. He wouldn't even shake his hand. River was amazed when he entered the lodge. The walls seemed bigger somehow, and the animals looked alive. Wait here. I've got something for you. But that summer, there was one thing River was forbidden to even think about. To be crystal clear, you were absolutely not allowed to let him anywhere near a gun or anything to do with hunting. Richard, that's impossible. This is a hunting lodge after all. You know what I mean. Will you help me finish it? Days went by, and River couldn't get enough of nature. Hmm. He already felt it was his best summer yet, but it was about to get even better. Oh, he's got a treehouse. <coughs> That's how he met April and Noah. Hi, I'm River. Ah! Why do I always have to be the animal? <laughs> because you're the youngest. <laughs> Poor girl. Why? This is what hunters do, isn't it? No. Real hunters are ethical. They wouldn't make an animal suffer like this and not even retrieve it afterwards. Yeah. Oh. River kept making the best memories he could that summer. He was also determined to find out more about his mother, as his father and grandfather never spoke of her. I didn't know my mother hunted too. Oh, you found the album. They're British. Huh. Why do we never talk about her? You'll have to ask your grandfather about that. But you can ask me anything else, sweetheart. But this secret had to wait for another day. Time flew by, and soon the summer was at an end. Wow! Try yelling something. Ahoy! On the last day, they made a new friend and named her Echo. That's where he just went in the beginning. That was cute. That was really cute, guys. Kind of gives a little more oomph to the story. It's not just coming in and shooting. It's about, you know, a personal experience. I guess you're going to find out more about his mother and about his family. Obviously, his dad has some big issue about hunting. I don't know what it is. It says, reach the meadows where Hollywood can often be found. Well, I don't know if we have enough time to do that in this particular episode. So I think what we're going to probably end up needing to do is go in and sleep through the night. And we will go out in the next episode. So, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode. And in the next episode, we are going to be going after the deer that the... Grandfather wants this boy River to go after the name Hollywood. Apparently he has a really strange set of antlers. From the picture I saw, it looks like one of them is kind of distorted. And he wants that put in here, and he's going to taxidermy him for free. So that'll be kind of cool. Be our first actual big trophy. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.